So these are my thoughts. These aren't like anything proven or, you know, without a doubt. But uh, I was watching the Shade Range Who The Truth About Beauty Blender Foundation, Jeffree Star, and he received the PR package of the uh, big beauty blender egg. Well, later on, there's another video of his where it's called Trying TJ Maxx for the first time in 10 years. And there's like a two second snippet of Nate stabbing that very same beauty blender egg. And this was like a week ago. And I noticed it and I turned to my boyfriend and I said, there's something fishy going on there. And then when he announced his collab with Morphe was coming out, um, we were all expecting the brushes. Yeah, yeah, great. And then all of a sudden there's these sponges as well. And we, I don't think anyone was really expecting that. We all know Jeffrey loves, you know, his foundation sponge beauty blender application. I mean, who doesn't? It's a really great way to apply foundation. And I was thinking, there must be some sort of drama between Jeffrey and Beauty Blender that is not being addressed. We all know he got an email from, you know, the creator of Beauty Blender themselves, and it wouldn't be odd to me to see that they, you know, they're in contact, so, you know, there's, there's something going on, but in that particular instance, it was about the shade range of the foundation. Now, this has nothing to do with the foundation. I believe that there used to be, or there should have been, or there could have been, at one point, a Jeffree Star X Beauty Blender collab. And their recent, they recently put out this Beauty Blender Queen. Now, shocking, it's, it's you know, $20 for the Beauty Blender, and it just comes in like this plastic canister with a crown on top and I thought to myself right after seeing you know the Morphe x Jeffree Star collab with the beauty sponge I thought you know this the beauty blender seems more like a Jeffree Star product than the Morphe beauty blender does because you know Jeffree we all know the bitch likes to wear a crown so <laughs> and I love Jeffrey more than, you know, anything. When, you know, he started collabing with Shane Dawson, that, like, that made my life so much better. I started enjoying YouTube again. It was great. And to see that, you know, it seems like Beauty Blender had a missed opportunity to collab with Jeffrey, I think was a fail on their part. I'm not sure, you know, if... Because I know Jeffrey's, you know, a great businessman and all that, and... He probably wanted, you know, 50-50 of the profits or whatever, and I'm assuming, you know, something wasn't down to agreement, and at the last minute, you know, it's canceled, but they still released the product without Jeffree Star's name on it. So, it said, Beauty Blender, Beauty Blender, our queen, and I think that if it said Beauty Blender, Beauty Killer, queen... I think Killer Queen, Beauty Killer, you know, that sounds a lot like something Jeffrey would have put his name, face, you know, he would have said it's Jeffrey Star approved. But, you know, apparently there was some sort of missed opportunity there, or, you know, maybe they're just trying to piggyback on Jeffrey Star just in general, but something about Nate stabbing that giant beauty blunder just really makes me think that Beauty Blender fucked up. So, thanks for your time, guys. And if Jeffrey, sorry if you uh, ended up watching this video and saw my horrible slideshow. You know, it's just me thinking about things. I'm not sure if you guys did it on purpose with Nate stabbing me Beauty Blender. I'm sh I mean, I know you put the clip in on purpose, but... I'm not sure what you were trying to convey other than to provoke a response like I'm giving you now. So, you know, I'm not trying to be shady or anything, but I just, I see what I see and I, I like to call it out how it is. And I don't think I'm hurting you. I'm just, you know, I'm just trying to get out there and say to the world, I see this, and there's gotta be something going on, so. 
if you address it later on, if you don't, whatever, that's great. Doesn't matter to me. I'm just excited to see what you put out with Shane.